Tanya from My Vinyl Cut, and I'm going to show you the difference between a laser printed water slide decal and an inkjet printed water slide decal. So I have a, a color laser printer. That's what I use to print my receipts on when I send a package. I put I print the packing slip on it. That's pretty much all I think that it's good for. I know a lot of people like to use laser printed water slide decals because you don't need to spray seal them. Um, but I have an inkjet printer that I use to print on water slide paper and the quality is so much better. The colors are so much richer and I know you probably can't tell the difference from here, but these are so much duller. These are bright and vibrant. So I prefer to print with an inkjet printer on inkjet printable water slide film. Um, so what water slide is, it's a clear film that's, I don't know how it's attached, poured probably, um, somehow attached to a paper backing. Um, either way, you need to cut them apart. And then um, I'm going to cut this one. Um, and I'll cut this one. Although this has not been spray sealed, so I cannot soak it in the water. But what it needs to happen is this has to go in a tub of water to release the backing from it. It saturates the paper and it, you're able to pull the, sli uh, the slide the film off. That's why it's called a water slide. You slide, slide it off with water. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and soak this and immediately it curls up. I get people telling me all the time, it curled up when I put it in. It's going to do that. It doesn't, doesn't no matter what kind you use. So um, you have to press down with your fingers to hold down the edges because it curls up. So you soak it for a little while. You kind of move it around. You, you don't want to cut your image too close before you soak it. Um, you need a place to hang on to it. So I know this is easier, like, and it's just not even anywhere near the, the quality, but that's it. It's like saran wrap almost. You don't need to spray seal it. It's been sealed. It's been heat sealed in the printer. Inkjet is um, cold. It doesn't use heat when you print, but the laser printer uses heat and it heat seals the toner. It's not even ink. It's toner. It's powder. Um, so that's it. And you can put this on a cup. Here's a white bowl. So I'm going to, and it's much easier to work with. You can't do this with one of those um, inkjet ones, but this is a curved surface. It's not really meant, like the image wasn't sized for this kind of, for this, you know, bowl, but I'm just using it as an example because it's white and it was handy. But um, I'm going to show you, I don't know if you can see up close. Um, this is much brighter. So this is why I prefer to use inkjet. The image looks so much better. Um, I'll spray seal this. It's going to take a while, so I'll have to come back to you on that um, and, and use that and show you the difference. So you need to spray coat that three times. So you spray it, wait 30 minutes, spray it again, wait 30 minutes, spray it again, wait 30 minutes, three coats. Takes a while, that's why I can't do that for you all. I can't uh, print one image. I mean, I actually have to print a whole sheet. So I have to wait to get enough orders to print a sheet. Um, if I get five orders and I have one more spot, I throw something on there that I think is gonna sell, like one of my best sellers, and I hold it aside, but I have nowhere to store my water slide decals. And then to cut these all apart and spray seal them, I, I can't, you can't do that inside, you have to do that outside. I live in Florida, it rains about every day, it's humid, um, humidity ruins this um, material and um, the heat, I mean, it's hot. I mean, I know right now it's um, no, the middle of November, it's just now starting to get cool, but you know, the wind blows, It you know, I've had the wind blow, I've had it rain on my stuff. So I, I have nowhere to spray seal these and store them time to do it three times. That's why I cut them, send them to you. You have to do it. 
So I apologize for that, but it's just worth it because of the difference in the quality. So I hope you found this video useful. Um, make sure that you like it and then subscribe and click the notification bell so when I do another video you actually get a notification to let you know I, I published another video. So I'm going to start making more videos because I have to show you how to use a lot of these products um, so you can buy your products from me and use them without uh, ruining them or making any mistakes. So hopefully they'll help you. So thanks for, for watching. Have a great day.